It's the bromance taking the world by storm. Just the other day, I introduced everybody to Mick and Bobby. They're the guys whose video is going viral of them doing a golf trick shot. Oh, after shots of vodka. Nine yeah. shots of vodka to be exact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's better about this story is the story behind it. These two met in Tokyo in 2005, but they decided in 2010, you know what? We gotta follow our dreams. Let's meet up once a year, go on an adventures, and they have this list of things that they're gonna do. They visited some amazing places around the world, but this one caught my eye. Oh, oh no. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Oh, well, it worked pretty good. Look at that. Fresh. I love these little patches everywhere. So they crossed <laughs> chest wax off the list and one more, and this specifically, Nick is probably gonna say, why don't they invite me? Now it took the people a few minutes to back the car out of the showroom, but he was actually able to drive a Lamborghini. What was it like? It was ridiculous. To tell us about these adventures they've been having, we have Mick from Australia and Bobby from Sweden right this minute via Skype. Hello. Okay, so what was it that started this bromance off from the beginning? Well, we met up in uh, school when we were in Tokyo, and uh, we basically just became really good mates. After um, we left Tokyo, we both got good jobs, and we were working the normal corporate life, and we weren't satisfied, basically. We needed that little something else in life. What makes each other a good travel partner? Why are you guys such a great fit to travel the world? Because we're so flexible, I think. I mean, usually when we go travel, we don't really try to plan anything and we just kind of go with the flow and figure it out along the way. One of the list items was to just turn up to an airport with no ticket and just go wherever the next flight was going. So when you're in the airport and you're telling people about that, they just think, what are you, nuts? What's next? What's the next trip for you guys? We're planning it all at the moment. So we're looking like we're going to be doing uh, Portugal and Spain. And, uh, and probably do Yacht Week down in Croatia and then hit up um, South America next year for World Cup. Are you guys happier? Is this working for you doing your trip once a year? Absolutely. At the end of the day, it's really about meeting the people and, and helping other people as well. And we're probably going to try to step up the helping part, I think, in the future because it's really the part that feels, you know, the best.